Hi there. As you may or may not know, I recently imported a Japanese car from Japan, a very special car to me anyway. It's a 1998 Subaru WRX STI Type R version 4 V Limited, which is a long way of saying basically it is the two-door version of the Impreza that was released in 1998. We never got the STI version of the GC version of the Impreza in the U.S. I've always wanted one for a long time since I played way too much Colin McRae Rally and Sega Rally back in the day. I finally had the opportunity to import one. I got it to the U.S. last year, and once I got it here, I had a lot of stuff I had to do on it. Tires, suspension, lots of fluid changes, all that good stuff. But I was intrigued by the fact that it had a six-disc changer in the trunk. I couldn't get into the six-disc changer, though, because it would not eject the cartridge. Uh, and I had so much other stuff to do, I really kind of put that in the back burner. But now, over the winter, I've been taking care of a lot of the other things that I need to do in that car. And so it was finally time to get into that changer to find out what mysteries were waiting in there. I was really hoping for something exciting. And it was a bit more of an ordeal than I had hoped for. What was happening was basically there's six discs in a cartridge. The player was trying to load in disc one. It would get halfway in, then it would eject it back out again. And basically, it was just stuck trying to read disc one. It would never feed the cartridge out because that disc one was always kind of stuck in between being in the cartridge and being in the player. So what I had to do was pull it out of the trunk of the car, and then I had to basically take the whole thing apart here to get to the point where I could leverage out in the back and pop out the cartridge, but I did finally get the cartridge out last night. And a lot of people have been excited to see what's in here. So I'm gonna walk you through each disc without making you wait any longer. Again, six disc changer that finally came out of the back. And again, this was a 1998 car that I imported last year when it turned 25, which you can read about, by the way, on Motor One and on Haggerty as well, some of the details on that. Um, but anyway, here we go. Without further ado, cars from my uh, CDs from my Japanese car, uh, CD1. This is Southern All-Stars Ballad Number no. 3, Disc 1. Uh, if you're not familiar with Southern All-Stars, they are a kind of easy listening Japanese rock band. They're hugely prolific, lots and lots of albums. This is Ballad 3, Disc 1. So it gives you an idea of how many uh, ballads they've written over the years, since I think since the 70s. Um, disc number two in my player, Southern All-Stars Ballad 3. This is disc number two from the same collection, so even more soft rock ballads from uh, one of Japan's most popular rock bands. Moving on, disc three, uh, no bonus points if you guess that, uh, yes indeed, Southern All-Stars, this is, uh, yeah, is the name of this album. Uh, this is disc two, which is called Sunnyside from their uh, Yeah album. I think it's actually something no yeah. Um, I don't know what that kanji is. But anyway, more Southern All-Stars. All right, disc number four. All right, this is a big change. This is Lord Finesse Awakening. Uh, Lord Finesse, American rapper, actually. I think this was his uh, third and final album. And so that's a pretty radical change from the uh, Southern All-Stars there, but I like it. And now we're going to move on to disc five of six. Another big change. This is Sleepwalker The Voyage. Uh, this is kind of a, a modern jazz album from uh, 2006, I think. So again, we've gone from easy listening rock to rap to modern jazz to our final album. This is uh, DJ Mitsu The Beats. This is basically a, like a, a mixtape basically from DJ Mitsu. This was released in 2006. DJ Mitsu, Japanese producer, um, DJ rapper. Um, so this is kind of like a, a, not exactly the greatest hits, but a mixtape with a bunch of other rappers and all performing on this album. So there you go. That's the contents of my Japanese Subaru's six disc changer. And it's pretty cool actually, I think, to have a selection of CDs from Japan and to know what the previous owner of my car was listening to in my car when it was in Japan, now here in the U.S. I'm a little bit bummed, though, that I had to go th to such destructive measures to get this changer out, because um, I would love for this to be a functional thing. I don't know if I can fix this or not. If anybody's got a lead on a Panasonic DP65 six-disc trunk-mounted changer for a car, I would love to put a functional one back in the car so that I can listen to these CDs and some City Pop and some other Japanese stuff as I'm cruising in my right-hand drive Subaru. But there you go, there's the mystery, six discs from my Subaru. I look forward to listening to those when I'm cruising sometime. And maybe I'll put together a playlist and put that down in the comments below so you can listen on uh, Google Music or Spotify or, or wherever else. But thanks for coming along and enjoying this little bit of a mystery with me.